Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Unity of Command. So Unity of Command is a World War II strategy game. Uh, basically uh, focus on uh, controlling your sorry, controlling your troops in the battlefield. So the last time we have uh, done so many uh, campaigns. We have done Army Group North, South, Center, Human Pocket, uh, Give and Circlement still there, Smokland still there, Luga to Leningrad, so which means that I still got so many episodes to do. So now we uh, let's have a look at the uh, give encirclement. So give encirclement might be a big, sorry, a big uh, game changing. So we have, I think four, four scenario. We have the black turn, which is the German side. We have the red army, which is the Soviet Union and a few other more. So now let's just start from the beginning. Uh, I want to give some commentary from this one. So as you all can tell, we start off with something like this and our objective is to take two objectives. Uh, the first one is the city, the second one is far back. So which means that our troops only focus, sorry, uh, our uh, focuses is only taking and cutting off enemy supply. So why supply? Let me just explain something a little bit. Uh, in this game, the only thing that works the best is make sure that you guys have enough supply. So what supply? For example, like supply to make sure that your, your troop will get enough supply so that they can attack the enemy. So that's how it's work. So most people will say, oh, oh, is, is that is it? Is that how to that, that game works out? I mean, yes, but there's still more to it, not just getting supply. So enough of that. Let's have a look at our troops. So I try my best. You can see the dash line right here, small, like small dots right here. So that is where supplies work. So that's why I'm letting my troops here, all my infantry, the Wehrmacht division, to take out the supply. I also have some Panzer, which is the fourth Panzer, and also the third Panzer. And I have also my troops here waiting at the city, but I'm not doing anything. Uh, I'm letting do their job. So you guys can have a look right here. Uh, actually, I've done this already. Uh, that's why I'm using a video history so that I can explain more easily. I don't want to prolong that long just to uh you know like kind of uh doing it again because i'm afraid that i will lose it because uh i'm not a consistent person because sometimes i feel like i'm gonna lose this much because this one is not easy it's very hard and uh it's not that easy just to you know do it again so i prefer to do a replay okay So, uh, yeah, not much to talk, but I would talk something uh, a little more different. So, uh, let's say, okay, let's, let's talk about something on my channel. Uh, let's say that, uh, wait, I think I have some topic to talk about. Okay, let, let's talk about the game concept. Uh, so in my channel, you, you guys know, right, that I did so many uh, games. House of Iron 4, World Conqueror 4, European War 6, and now Unity of Command. So, House of Iron 4, World Conqueror 4, European War 6, and Unity of Command. So four games, four games. Actually, the most that got a lot of attention, I think, uh, is World Conquer 4, European World 6. Uh, for Hearts of Rain 4, still the same. For Unity of Command, so so. Which means that uh, this game is kind of uh, too old. It's not that too old, but it's it's still it's still you know playable for me. I would play it, but I don't know about you guys. But the reason why I'm doing this, I'm recording this because uh, it's related to World War Two, and it's kind of my thing. You know, it's kind of a, a, a knowledge to understand the basic of war. War is not just like Command and Conquer. Have you guys ever played Command and Conquer? It's not just construction yards, barracks, uh, war, uh, factory. It's not just about uh, refinery core. It's just not about power plants. No, 
when it when it comes to real war, something like this, if something, uh, you know, like way more tactical, okay, something that focus on real stuff, something, uh, something like, let's say, something that would cause you a headache. Yeah, so real wars is something that will cause you a headache. The reason why I'm saying that because real war consists of this kind of thing. Okay, you need to make sure that you have enough troops. You want to make sure that you have enough uh, tactical uh, advantages so that you can attack your enemies. Okay, that's how it's work. It's not just like oh, build troops, attack the enemy, and you win. No, it's not like that. It's not easy like that. It's something like this. It's something really annoying. It's something that you have to defend. It's something that you have to make sure that it will work out. Yeah, that's how war works out. That's like Hearth of Iron for You have national focus. You have troops. That's how it works. This is a real war game. Yeah. Uh, this game costs like, I, I remember it was on sale, like $20. And it sale just seven dollars, yeah. And I got it on Steam, and I try it, and, and and I feel like yeah, it's a pretty good game. We're gonna have a uh the second version of the game later on, I believe, uh, which uh, I don't know when, but I have read the forum, and they said that it's coming a long way. So yeah, that's good. No, and you can see I still have two Panzer at the northern front. Okay, that's why I'm waiting for it to uh, attack so that I can get enough supply. You can see my Panzer. The Panzer deal a lot of damage. So, the Panzer thing here. Uh, what I've seen before is that they only give normal Panzer, uh, not like the Panzer Mouse or the others. I never seen something beside uh, Panzer Three, you know, like this, the old Panzer, the you know the first, not not the old one. I think the second one, uh, second one, Panzer. Panzer, Panzer, and all. Let's just say the old Panzer, okay? So old Panzer, really, really old Panzer. But that kind of Panzer did pretty good job. I mean, you can tell the way. This is not like World Conqueror Four when the Panzer just swoop in, kill everyone out. Okay, so I guess my turns end. Let's just continue the other turn, which is my turn again. Okay, let's just skip right here. I'm not gonna watch the Soviet move. Okay, so you can see some territory change. You can see I still have three Panzer, not three Panzer, and also one mechanized troops here. So, uh, how this work? I deployed troops again. Yeah, I deployed troops. So in the real game, you will have a bar uh, underneath which you guys can get your troops recruited. So I'm just trying to preach in. Sorry that I cannot zoom. I wish I can. I can zoom in. Uh, I'm going to try to preach in because I'm on a supply line. So which means that I have no problem taking the enemies out. But the real problem is I want to take the enemy supply lines out. That's what I'm going to do. You can see I move my Panzer really, really, really fast so that I can get through it. Okay, so. Okay, so uh, you can see I try to preach in. I mean, that means that I'm trying to cut their supply line. So which means that after I cut the supply line, they will no longer do anything, and my Panzer just keep on moving, moving. Uh, I'm also trying to defend the area here too, so that the enemy won't take advantages on taking my supply line. Okay. Next time I will try to do a real one. Okay, I'm trying to cut it off. And I'm sending my tank, sorry, my infantry back, just in case I need anything. Okay. You can see there are still troops at the north. 
some of them aren't really good you can see some of them might get killed easily so I think I should be more defensive So you can see him try to preach in and Panzer. You can see it take that up, destroy so easily, and then I got into my line. I move this out and then I move my infantry and I take out the enemy. Uh, two blows and another one. That one is a blow off. And I move in again and then I move my mechanized troops. And then the mechanized enemy run away. And then I punch again and it move again. So I move my mechanized and move my another in the mechanized troops which is motorized or mechanized and you can see it destroyed the panzer and moving out and everything is done so let's continue which is my turn not the soviet's turn okay you can see they're they're starting to deploy so which means that this area here is getting loose and then which means that we can take this one easily so the way that I'm going to do it is that I'm going to preach in into this area, which means that I'm going to preach in it, and then I'm going to preach into this uh, supply line so that the enemy would fall easily uh, without our heavy casualties. Okay, so I start attacking again, again, again. And again so some would say that it's it's quite uh, how do I get a word risky yeah risky so people might say it's risky but I would say that uh, in, in, the, in this kind of game if you're not risking then how's you gonna win so that's why I'm trying to risk every method Okay, you can steal one of one of my troops just get slam on. So only way is the Panzer. Panzer move way better. So you can see I cut the supply line now. You can see. So which means that from here nothing else lasts. Okay, because here because it's range twelve, range eight is range eight. So which means that it's only around this area. So the enemy would not stand a chance. So. Right now I have cut their supply line and I'm moving my panzer and take this one here, very nice. And I move this one again, take it out, very good, and take out this one too, very nice. And take out this one. Okay. So continue my turns. Okay, forward turns to my turn. Okay, so uh, the enemy is still there. You know why? Because they cut our supply line right here, and also, also they still have some supply stock in the city here, which means that they still, still you know like still have a few more supply lines. So which means that the best way to do it is that we cut off everything. Yeah. Okay. So this one is destroyed. Okay, and this one also destroy. So I capture the city at a uh, pot lava. Okay, so I move my troops. I move one this down. Take out this one. Another one from here. Take out this one too. Okay, good. Move my panzer and take this one out. Very nice. Move my panzer. Sorry, my mechanized troop and take this one too. And Panzer moving again. Because that's why it's called Kiev Encirclement because we are encircled the enemy here at Kiev. So yeah. Panzer to the south. Okay, and this Panzer too. And moving on this one to cut the enemy supply. Okay. Next turn, forward turn, which is my turn. Okay, so you can see there's the uh, the mark right here, which represent that they are out of supply. So which means that it's easy to take them out now. You can see just a few blow and the enemies are already out, right? Okay. 
good. And Panzer keep on moving since we still have supply, so that won't be a bad problem. Okay, so we cut another one. So I am just keep on preaching, 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 and preaching. Okay, that one's got destroyed. Another one here is coming up next too. Okay. So, still on defending. Next turns. Okay, so the supply line just keep on depleting. So which means that they no longer have any armor and their health is really low as well. So we just can take it easy. Okay, the only thing that we need to worry about is the center of this uh, battlefield uh, at the center front. So that's gonna do it. And it's easy, you can see here, just a few damage and it's already down. Okay, this one is also destroyed. And another one is next. Yeah, that's good. Okay. And a panzer here. Still has some movement. And we cut out this one and take out this enemy here. And take on this one again. Moving to the south. And then my panzer coming in. Take out the enemy here just in case that the enemy might take our supply line. And move my panzer. And move my troops here. And you can see here, just easy. Just one blowout and everyone is dead. Okay. Take it in. That's good. You can see the supply line is open. Okay, it's quite easy. You can see here. So which means that we just encircle them and we don't really need to do a heavy attack. We just need to encircle and then everything will be out by themselves. Okay, you can see it's pretty easy, right? Yeah, another one. And this one too. Okay, yeah, capture that one is easy. So now objective is done. We have captured Kiev, and I think the next turn we're going to win this one easily. Okay, so the Soviet have no more choices but to defend. So, okay, so now we just need to take it and another blow, and we're good to go. Yeah, so that's it for this uh, Kiev encirclement. So you will start off. With three front, you got the center front, the northern front, the southern front. So keep preaching from the north to the south, and make sure that you stay at the center so that the enemy uh, would not attack us because they are defending. So, so now we already captured two objectives, and this one is pretty okay, not so bad. The missions are good and way more strategy and tactical and also fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Unity of Command, which is the Kiev Encirclement. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time, and have a nice day.